hope he doesn't come up to our car. I swear this whole town is going downhill. That is why they need to elect me as mayor. So I can clean this place up. What do you want? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. My name's Oliver. I'm homeless. And I'm trying to sell water bottles so I can buy some food for my sick mom and I. Would you like to buy one? That's $3 a bottle. First of all, how do we know that your mom is really sick? You're probably just taking advantage of hardworking people like us. And second of all, no. Why would we want to buy overpriced water from a scammer? No thank you, young man. I can't help but feel a little bad. I mean, what if he really needs help? <laughs> help taking money out of our pocket and putting it into his. Seriously, Carly, I can spot a scammer a mile away. Trust me, his mom probably put him up to it so she can cash in. You know what? I read an article that talked about a fake beggar actually made over 100000 in a year. That's more than what I make. That doesn't mean he's a scammer. I mean, what if he was really trying to get something to eat? I'm just saying, you never really know what someone's going through. So we should always be kind. Okay, Carly. Have a great time at hot yoga, okay? Please be careful though, honey. You know how dizzy you get. I'll be back in an hour after my press conference. Here you go. I love you. Love you. Have a good time. World. Oh. God. Hi, yeah. I need a tow truck. I'm at the corner of, um... Hang on a second. Hey! Get away from my car! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to help. No. You're probably trying to steal the catalytic converter. No, I'm not. Look, get lost before I call the cops. Sorry about that. Can you tell me what the problem is? Yeah, I was driving, and then all of a sudden it started smoking. Um, okay, hang, hang on a second. No problem. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm so sorry. It's a false alarm. No problem. Give us a call back if you have any further issues. Okay, I will. Thank you. And exhale. We're going to hold this pose for 20 seconds. Your left hip is pointing toward the floor. Carly, are you doing okay? Do you maybe need to get some air? Oh, uh, no, I, I'm okay. I can finish. Thank you. Okay. All right, from here, we're going to transition into Warrior Three. What Why are we talk about the relationship with the Ladies and gentlemen, our city is facing a crisis. A crisis of homelessness and rampant criminal activity. And who is responsible for that? Our current mayor, who has failed to address these issues and has left our town in ruins. Just earlier today, I was driving through our streets and a homeless boy approached me and pretended to be selling water bottles to help him and his sick mom. It was all a ruse. He then attempted to rob me, taking advantage of the compassion that we hold for those less fortunate. If elected as your mayor, I promise I will take immediate action to banish homeless people like that boy. People like that deserve to be in jail. We need to restore safety to our streets, protect our community, 
and show no mercy for those who would exploit our generosity. Mom, can you look? Is punishment really the best approach? Shouldn't we seek to help the homeless, especially kids? Help the homeless? Absolutely not. We cannot allow our sympathy to blind us from the realities of the situation. And the realities of the situation are that homeless people are criminals and drug addicts. I'm sorry, I need to take this, it's an emergency. No, wait, wait, wait. I'll worry about what is going to be No further questions. Get away from my daughter. I have 911 on the phone. Mom, stop! Hi, this is Betty Thompson. Yes, I need you to send a unit over to Grand and Piner, please, as soon as possible. Somebody is robbing my daughter. Mom, no. Thank you, come as quickly as you can. Why would you do that? Stay out of this, Carly. Stop stealing my daughter's purse. I'm not stealing anything. Oh, sure you aren't. Mom. Be quiet, Carly. How could you take advantage of someone with a medical condition? He wasn't taking advantage of me. He was helping me. I asked him to look in my bag to see if I had a granola bar or anything. I'm sorry, honey. I, I just, when I saw him going through it, I... Yeah, well, if it wasn't for Oliver, I, I don't know what I would do. He found me lying here on the floor and gave me water. He did? Yes. Ma'am? Oh, um, I'm sorry, officer. This was my fault. It was a false alarm. Are you sure, ma'am? Yeah. Earlier, when your car broke down, I was just pouring water in it to help you. So that's why it stopped smoking. I am so sorry, sweetie. So what you were saying was the truth. You really do need food and your mother really is sick? And you used your last two bottles of water to help us. Oliver, can you do me a favor? Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. Oliver, did you cause some trouble? Oh, not at all, ma'am. Hello, I'm Betty, and this is my daughter, Carly. Tabitha. <laughs> oh, dear, are you okay? Um, Oliver, go get me some water. Sorry, Mom. We had no more water. What did you say at all? Uh, I don't understand. What'd you do with it? I am so sorry. Oliver gave us his last two bottles of water to help my daughter and I. He's been such a blessing. Okay. In that case, good job, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm proud of you. Why don't you take this to the convenience store and get water and food for them? Yeah, no, of course. Oliver, come on, let's go. That's so kind of you. Please. It's the least I could do. If you only knew everything that Oliver has done for us today. Ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, you and your son are such lovely people. How did you get into this situation? The same way a lot of us do. By finding ourselves in unexpected situations. You see, not too long ago, Oliver and I were living a great life. We didn't have much, but we had everything we needed. But boy, did things take a turn. One night, this cough hit me like a ton of bricks. And I couldn't catch my breath. And fear gripped me. I knew life was about to flip upside down. 
I ended up in the hospital. And I heard the two most horrifying words ever said to me. Lung cancer. I couldn't believe it. And to make things even worse was the price tag that came along with it. The government ended up denying my request for financial help. And since I was sick all the time, my job ended up firing me. Literally, everything that could go wrong went wrong. And if that wasn't all bad enough, I then got a letter from my landlord an eviction notice. And that's how we ended up on the streets. So you see, my life turned upside down, just like that. I'm so sorry, Tabitha. <sighs> I just can't imagine what you've been going through. And the government hasn't tried to help you. Unfortunately not. When you're homeless, they just see you as a criminal or, or a druggie. But there's not a lot of help for people like me. That's all going to change. I promise you that. Mom, look at Kali found us. Why do we snack? Oh, well, baby. <laughs> Thank you. You don't know how much this means to us. Hey, Oliver, when was the last time you got cleaned up? I don't know. How would you like it if you and your mom came over to our house? Yeah! Oh, no, no. No, we couldn't. No, I insist. Oh, but. I have to make one stop first. I need to address some of the comments that I made earlier. Because, well, I've had a change of heart. A big change of heart. You see, I looked at homeless people like they were the problem. I judged them before ever hearing their stories. But something happened to me today that changed everything. The boy that I described that was selling water on the streets, and I assumed he was trying to scam me. Well, he isn't a scammer at all, but a hero. Oliver gave his last two bottles of water to help my daughter and I. Water that should have been used for his mother, who is very, very ill, he gave to my family instead. Someone that has hardly anything gave me everything. And it opened my eyes to realizing something that my daughter has been trying to tell me all along. That you never really know what someone is going through. So we should always be kind. How are you? 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 How are you?